Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys my Supreme King Zark deck profile for June 2017. With the release of Pendulum Evolution, we now have uh, more support to make the Zark deck and Zark plays to summon Zark more uh, playable. It's a really fun deck, and most of the cards uh, that you need uh, for this deck can be uh, pulled from the Pendulum Evolution uh, booster pack, so definitely invest in that pack if you're looking to build this deck. It's a really fun deck as well because there's a lot of different combos that you can do, and you know, just main card, get out Zark, which is a hell of a combo to pull off if you can do it. So let's go ahead and start off with the deck profile. Uh, for starters, I run three Astrograph Sorcerer, probably one of your most important cards in the deck just for the fact that it is your main key card that you use to make Supreme King's Ark. Its monster effect lets you search for a Stargazer Magician and either place it in the Pendulum Scale or Special Summon it by destroying this card, but you want to use this card more for the fact that its monster effect allows you to send the four uh, proper uh, dragons uh, from either your field, hand, or graveyard, you banish them along with this card. And if you do, you're able to summon one Supreme King's Ark from your extra deck. So, one like I said, it's the easiest way to get off the summon, since all you have to do is rely on that. And there are plenty of magicians in this deck which take on the names of Xyz Dragon, Synchro Dragon, all the ones needed for the play. And, like I said, the, mon the Pendulum effect isn't as needed because it just searches out the uh, Stargazer. And I also run one Chronograph Sorcerer, just for a little more extra consistency, just for the fact that it has the same effect as Astrograph Sorcerer, just with the uh, left out uh, effect of it searches Time Gazer with its Pendulum Scale, and the different scale which matches the Astrograph Sorcerer. But I like it for the extra 8 scale, just to have, you know, it always is good. And it also has that same effect for Special Summoning off the Destruction. And I also run two, actually make it three, Double Iris Magician. This is the magician form of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Once per turn, you can target one Dark Spell caster type monster you control, apply this effect to it, then destroy this card. Once applied, double any battle damage that that monster inflicts to your opponent this turn if it battles an opponent's monster. And the monster effect is if this card is always treated as a Pendulum Dragon card. So that is the Odd Eyes, basically, of this deck. And if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can add one Pendulum Graph card from your deck to your hand. And that is the... Uh, new spell and trap cards, which basically protect your magicians on the field and have other effects, which we'll get to. Uh, but scale 8, what I like with these new magician cards, they have varying scales of 1 and 8. There's no real in-between cards with these ones. You'll be able to make pretty consistent scales using all the magicians in this deck. And I also run 2 Purple Poison Magician. This is the uh, Starving Venom Magician. Once per turn, if your Dark Spellcaster type monster battles before damage calc, you can activate this effect. This monster gains 1200 attack until the end of the damage step, then destroy this card. So it's another boost effect. Instead of double the damage, it's 1200. And then the monster effect is it's always treated as a fusion dragon card. And if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can target one face of card on the field, destroy it. So another good uh, consistent effect. And all of the. Um, uh, magician monsters that are based off the dragons are also level 4, meaning pretty consistent for Xyz summons that you can get off of the deck as well. And two Black Fang Magician, this is the Dark Rebellion of the deck. Once per turn you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, its attack becomes half its current attack until the end of the phase, then destroy this card. So a real play off of Dark Rebellion who halves your opponent's monsters with its own effect. And then the monster effect, it's always treated as an Xyz Dragon card, and if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you could target one Dark Spellcaster type monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So more consistency from the graveyard as well when you use this card. And to wrap up the Magician monsters for the Dragons, two White Wing Magician. Uh, once per turn, when an activated card or effect re um, resolves that targets a Dark Spellcaster type monster, you can negate that and then destroy this card. And the monster effect is it's always treated as a Synchro Dragon card. And if this Pendulum Summon card is used for a Synchro Summon, banish it. So it is also a tuner unlike the other ones, so you can use it for synchro summons. That thing is, it is a level 4, so making, you know, clear wing kind of impossible with the other level 4s in the deck, but you still can go for some other ones, including Enlightenment Paladin, which is always fun to do. And I also run three Harmonizing Magician, uh, also from the new uh, booster pack. All monsters you control gain 100 attack and defense for each face-up magician pendulum with different names in your extra deck, so plenty of magicians to run to make use of that. 
but it also has a special summon effect where it cannot be special summoned from the extra deck specifically, and it cannot be used as a material for a fusion synchro orc seize unless all other materials are magician pendulum monsters. And when this pendulum summoned from the hand, you can special summon one magician pendulum from your deck in defense mode, except uh, this card, and it has its effect negated. Also, banish it when it leaves the field. So it's consistency with special summoning. You can get what you need out on the field using this card's ability, uh, making your possible Zark play faster, just grabbing the magicians that you do need. And as for the uh, Zark support, I run three Supreme King Gate Zero. This is your zero scale pendulum, uh, just uh, for more easy, con uh, consistent pendulum plays. Its pendulum effect is if you control Supreme King Zark, you take no damage. Once per turn, if you have Supreme King Zark in your other, uh, the Infinity in the other pendulum zone, you can add one Polymerization spell card or Fusion spell card from your deck to your hand. So you can add Odd Eyes Fusion or whatever it is. Um, the preferred spell card that you wish to use with the deck, but it also has a zero scale, so you know the best you can get with the pendulum scales. And also, three uh, Supreme King Gate Infinity, which is the 13 scale that you run with the deck. If you control a monster, you cannot pendulum summon, this effect cannot be negated. Once per turn, if you control Supreme King's Arc, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls, gain life points equal to its attack. So, once you get Zark out, these are the two preferred scales you want to have just for your. Uh, setup combo that you can do with the card and the monster effect is once per turn you can target one other face-up card you control Destroy uh, both it and this card if you do special summon one dragon type exceeds or pendulum monster from your extra deck But its attack and defense become zero also it has its effects negated and cannot be used as the material for synchro or exceed summon If this in card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or car effect you can place it in the pendulum zone So once again, it has the good effect of just searching out needed materials to get out Zark um, but Most of the time it will be used in the set scale Just remember the whole thing about not being able to pendulum summon if you do control a monster and also Three, Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm. Uh, with this card, if it is normal or special summon, you can add one Supreme King Gate Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard and you control no monsters, you can special summon this card. You can only use each monster effect uh, once per turn. So just more consistency for getting out monsters that you need in the search effect for your uh, needed of the two Pendulum Scales. is also quite nice just for completing Pendulum Scales. And the Pendulum Scale isn't as used as much, vice versa with the other two, which you want to use their Pendulum Scales more than this one and just have this one out as a monster. Once per turn, if you control no monsters, you you can place one Supreme King Gate Pendulum card from your deck into your Pendulum Zone. Also, you cannot Pendulum Summon monsters for the rest of the turn except for Dark Monsters, which you run a pretty uh, good amount of the Dark Monsters, I think. Uh, White Magician is the one exception there, but you still, like I said, have plenty to go off of there. And I also run two Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, just an additional good monster to run, unlike, um, you know, the other ones, Clear Wing, Starving Venom, and Dark Rebellion, which are extra deck monsters and more difficult to summon. Odd Eyes is an extra deck monster with a search effect from the Pendulum Scale, and just an easier one to Pendulum Summon out as well, and still meet the requirements for one of the cards needed to summon out Zark. And also three, Perform Pal Skulker Bad Joker. This card is now a three on the ban list, making it extremely consistent just for your normal summon with the deck, so you can search out plenty of Magician cards using this monster. And that is it for the monsters. We'll now move on to spells. I run three, Star Pendulum Graph. It is a continuous spell card and is searchable with the uh, Odd Eyes Double Iris Magician variant. Uh, your opponent cut targets spellcaster type monsters you control with spell or uh, effects, and if a face-up magician pendulum monster leaves your monster zone or pendulum zone, add one magician pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect uh, once per turn. It's just search consistency if you end up losing one of your magician pendulums, adding one to your hand. It is a continuous spell card, so it'll stay on the field as well, so you'll always be able to get your searches off, hopefully, as long as this card remains on the field. And also, three Pendulum Call, another card that is now at three on the uh, ban list. Uh, very nice there, just for more search power. It searches out your Magician cards, which uh, luckily all of the new Magician ones have that card in it, and they are Magician Pendulums as well, so you can uh, take that advantage. And it also protects them from destruction, so you have that to go off of as well. And also two Sky Iris, just an uh, additional search card. It can search out Odd Eyes Fusion or Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, whichever you need for that specific situation. And just another card to help protect your Pendulum's scales. And the one Odd Eyes Fusion, like I said, you can search this with Sky Iris so you don't have to draw it. Used for getting out Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, just going off the combo plays of using Odd Eyes Monsters that you will have in your extra deck as well to take advantage of that. 
and one time pendulum graph to finish off the main deck. I did have the deck at 41 cards at once running two time pendulum graph. If you want to keep it at 40 and run two time pendulum graph, uh, you could probably take out the one chronograph sorcerer and just run the three astrographs if you just want to rely on that for your uh, Zark play. But this effect is your opponent cannot target spellcaster type monsters you control with trap or effects. You can only use the following effect of pendulum graph once per turn. You could target one magician pendulum card in your monster or pendulum zone and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. Then if the effect did not destroy two cards, you can send one card on the field to the graveyard. So pretty nice there and it is searchable like I said. Bumping up to two just might help you reach it a little faster. But like I said, it's completely preference there. And that is it for the main deck. We will now move on to the extra deck. I only have one Supreme King's Ark, but um, I am, you know, sort of confident if you, you know, play out the game long enough, you could run two. But the one is good just for the whole fact that he is your main boss monster out. Once you get him out, you're hopefully, you know, going to do enough to win there. Uh, you basically need the requirements for the card and must be fusion summoned and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If this card is special summoned, destroy all cards. Your opponent controls cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects and your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can special summon one Supreme King Dragon from your deck or extra deck. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. Now, we don't have these Supreme King Dragons for Odd Eyes, Dark Rebellion, Clearing, and Starving Venom yet. They're coming out in Code of the Duelist but once we do, they'll definitely be added into the deck because they'll definitely help with just his summoning ability. And the Pendulum effect, Fusion, Synchro, and Exceeds monsters your opponent control cannot activate their effects, and once per turn when your opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand, except they're into the draw phase or the damage step, you can destroy those cards. I do think in the anime they combined Zark's effects all into one, so he was able to activate this even though this card was on the field. Extremely broken there, but still, if you get this card out, it makes for a really, really fun play. And also one Odd Eyes Vortex just to go off of the Odd Eyes Fusion, just good to have that Fusion option there. Same with uh, one Starving Venom, uh, just an additional card to play for the Fusion options. One Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend and one Enlightenment Paladin are for the Synchro Monsters. And then for Xyz, running two of the new Time Star Magician, you need two level four Magician Pendulum Monsters to make this. And it must first be Xyz summoned with the above Xyz materials. And once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card to add one Dark Spellcaster type monster from your deck, graveyard, or face up from the extra deck. And once per turn, if a Pendulum Monster uh, in your Monster Zone or Pendulum Zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send one spell to. Uh, spellcaster type monster from your deck to the graveyard instead. So just another good protection card to use on the field. When with 2400 attacks, the stats for the Xyz monsters aren't bad either. And one Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon and one Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon just for, uh, once again, option plays with the Odd Eyes Fusion for sending fusion materials from the extra deck. And one Trapeze Magician, one Magister, one Dark Rebellion, one Digusto Emerald, one Castell and one Heartland Draco to finish off the extra deck. If you put in a second Zark, probably take out the Heartland Draco just for that card. But yeah, that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.